Hello Collective, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for returning. Mwah, hugs and kisses to you. Hopefully you guys are doing well, blessed and highly favored. It's your light worker. Intuitive. Starseed. Tomorrow. You know what it is. Let's get in here, get this read, get this message. So I got some cooking to do. I love to cook. It's it's cooking for me. It's like therapy. It's you know. I'm in a, I'm mean, in my, in my zone, you know, with my jazz and all that. Plus, I got a time frame. I gotta try to get this out the way. So let's get this message and see what the business is. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Hopefully the message resonates with you or someone close to you. You just get in it for the vibe. Um, if I haven't said it already, thank you guys for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and also your donations. Thank you so very much, you guys. Genuinely, genuinely genuine love over here let's get into this read First card out, scared to commit. And this is basically just somebody that can't trust themselves. They don't trust themselves. Man or woman. Somebody scared to commit. It's like somebody don't feel like they can be trusted, you know, to... It's an interest that somebody has within themselves. Man or woman. And this could be past energy because I feel like this is something, you know, somebody struggles with when it comes to commitment. They may have their reasons for it, thinking, you know, whatever their reasons are, it's safe for the, you know, not commit. Or you could have been dealing with somebody that's non-committal, scared to commit. Next card, hermit mode. Next card, listening to outside influences was downfall. Wow. So somebody was scared to commit. So whoever this is that was non-committal in the past, this is somebody that was listening to a lot of people that um, had their own experiences with being committal, you know, being committed um, in the past themselves. Somebody projected their experiences, their situations onto somebody else. And Put somebody in the mind of not trusting their own experience or their own um, 
intuition when it came to a particular person. Past things don't have nothing to do with current people. Unless you, you know, bring that into fruition. Like, you start using that as um, a foundation to even start off with. So, if it's something, somebody from the past, even friends, and this, this individual is dealing with, they're bringing it into the present moment when they meet in other people as a way to keep them from being hurt, I guess, you know, but these are unhealed situations that somebody, you know, experienced, you know, by way of being in some type of committed connection with somebody or giving somebody a commitment that did not work out or they gave the wrong person a commitment that they found out later was not, you know, somebody so deserving. Now these are people, this is somebody listening to other people that have had their issues with, you know, being in committed relationships or how they feel about being committed. And they taking that, you know, follow the leader type role and shit instead of following their heart, you know. Unless somebody's giving them reason. But I feel like somebody done had reason that insecurities that they call reason. But it's really insecurities that they basing their decision off of and listening to others that have, you know, insecurities of their own from failed connections and things like that. So listening to outside people is what cause somebody to follow their lead, you know, wherever that downfall was, you know, wherever that downfall, downfall took, child, wherever somebody else's downfall took them with commitment. Somebody projected that onto somebody else and had them, you know, standing firm in, you know, continuing not to be committed or not looking at commitment as something that, you know, was safe to do. Next card, yoga and meditation. So this is something collective. Maybe some of you are already um, incorporating into your schedule um, as doing something different now. Or this could be two things that um, could be useful when it comes to, you know, you. How you say it? Um, when it comes to your healing process, like the things, you know, getting out of old habits, old patterns, um, incorporating, you know, getting rid of one thing to um, try something new. And yoga and meditation could be one of those things that can kind of free you um, up in a way while still doing something. Um, you could do both. Um, if you're not already doing both right now, you could be doing meditation now. Yoga could be something new you can try. somebody here could do yoga a meditation could be significant next card building up the courage to come apologize to you genuinely this is somebody that knows they owe you an apology i feel like this is something that they know could have been avoided but it was something that was easy simple made complicated just because outside people got involved and somebody allowed it you know instead of using their own intuition following their heart and letting whatever issues they had be something they discussed with you and not outside people since it was about you. Um, even if it was something in the past that may have caused this person to feel some type of way about commitment, they still had not healed from that. They had not came to terms with how to you know, move forward from that. And it affected how they saw you, how they interacted with you, collective man and woman. Next card, some fighting going on over ending for them. So whatever this person is, this, you know, at this time, they're in hermit mode. A lot of fighting is going on when it comes to um, 
you know, somebody being in this five of swords, I feel like somebody really, you know, this was not anticipating, you know, a bunch of uh, rebuttal, like, you know, a lot of backlash from, you know, them being in hermit mode, but I feel like them cutting themselves off and kind of, you know, being secluded from people now, like not just physically, but mentally, like somebody's not really, you know, saying much, they're not doing much arguing. I mean, a lot of some of the fighting is over this ending that's going on. Um, it's got a lot to this, do with this person really kind of being silent about the decision they done made. And I feel like once they've made it, they, you know, just, you know, kind of went into hermit mode. Like, or this person could have went in hermit mode and, you know, had this enlightenment, you know, made some decisions, some choices, you know, what direction to go in and how they wanted to handle something and started doing that. And now, you know, it's causing a lot of chaos. It's causing a lot of arguments, bickering back and forth, you know, pointing fingers, um, people blaming each other, you know, instead of just accepting the fact that somebody got involved and, you know, said things that wasn't true. Um, created false narratives and made assumptions before even really getting the facts and none of it being facts. Honestly, none of the stuff that was being said, suggested, or, you know, the assumptions, you know, were just assumptions. You know, things that people felt, you know, fit the situation, but they didn't even know the people involved um, and didn't really care to know. Because I feel like if they genuinely cared, um, how these decisions may have hurt, may have hurt you or this other person or anybody involved they would not have been involved but i feel like these are people that they these outside influences they let somebody lets these outside influences affect a lot of their decision making and this has made this person somewhat of a people pleaser because when they make some of these bad decisions these people support it they i mean because it's you know the outcome is always in their favor they get the you know they get the last laugh they get to see how you know even if it's something they want to try and wouldn't they'll tell this person to do it and see how it turn out i mean and at the end of the day the arguments is going back and forth is in the fighting it's about somebody being accused of, I mean, them saying, well, you should have, you know, did this yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like you, if that's what you wanted, you should, why, why are you listening to us? You know what I'm saying? Like somebody don't want to take accountability. And these are people that are low vibrational that in the past, this may have been somebody you walked away from any things with, or they could have ghosted the whole connection by way of these influences, supporting that, celebrating that, you know, encouraging that, you know, using that as a, a remedy to something instead of just talking something out, getting some clarity, getting some understanding, asking the right questions. And instead of doing that, somebody, you know, sat here and kept company with, you know, small minded people that didn't have much experience in shit, let alone happiness. You know, these, this is, these are people that just really did not have somebody's best interest at heart, let alone their own. Next card, your proof, true love exists. And somebody did not want this person to experience that. They did not want somebody to believe that what somebody felt was true love. They wanted it to be something that was divination, you know, uh, by use of some type of divination. Like somebody, you know, out of these outside influences, even this person, um, or anybody they may have had, you know, you in the third party with. Because I feel like somebody did have other people um, that were interested in them, but these were people that did not compare to you. They were, you know, more or less on this person's level energetically. And this is why they were able to keep these people around, you know, for whatever reason, whatever this person was put down was not something that kept you around for very long, you know, or as long as they thought it would. That's for some of you, not all of you. But this person now realizes that what they felt was not lust. It was actual love, but it wasn't something nobody around them supported. Nobody around them wanted this person to believe that existed. Not with you. Next card, you deserve more than I'm offering financial karma. So this person could be going through a tower right now, you know, and their finances could be taking a hit. 
just off the fact that somebody, you know, made things more materialistic and surface level than they should have. Somebody was more judgmental prematurely other than just looking at something, you know, from a heart, from their heart space. And nobody wanted this person to do that because they knew it would make this person come towards you. But they was not going to support what this person felt, not in their heart. No, they were not going to support that because they didn't want this person to believe that that was something that was going to work either. Even if they know this person's history to be some failed connections, they did not want this person to believe that one with you would be any different. I'm telling you, it's too many. And whatever this person feels now to be true, it makes these people out to be liars. It makes these people, you know, out to be believers, whether they want to believe in true love or not. It's the fact that they don't have it. They don't have it within themselves. They don't believe it exists for them. And they don't want this person to believe it exists for them either. Melody can be significant. That's sad. That's some, I mean, that's, that's some ruthless ass shit that somebody don't want you to experience happiness go toward it even because this they don't have it they don't feel it for themselves and they don't believe you know anybody genuinely loves them either you know they just getting what they can get from somebody if it look like love feel like love then that okay and i'm gonna see what i can get out of in case it ain't love that kind of thing next card you made a believer out of me and who my options really were divine feminine divine masculine so, yeah, whatever this person's options were, like I said, they may have had a lot of them, you know, whether they went toward them, entertained them or not. It was the fact that somebody, you know, could not find you in them, but they could find a lot of those, but not a lot of you. You know what I'm saying? A lot of those options didn't have what it is they wanted or had with you. So at the end of the day, you know, this person could have. Um, they cake and eat it too, but they may not like the icing. The cake may be good, but the icing ain't worth, you know, eating the cake now because they don't have, you know, everything that they need or it's missing an ingredient. And this person here, you know, juggling a bunch of people, these outside influences, they were used to that. And they were used to this person doing that. And they didn't want this person to believe they needed to stop now of any, you know, why stop now? You've been doing it. It's been working for you this long. Why would somebody, you know, if they're friends or their family, they genuinely give a damn, they can't if you don't. They can care all they want about this person, but it, the fact that they made some sound decisions based off outside influences, they just as guilty as the people that gave them the advice, that supported them, that, you know, even had a say. But I see, I feel like even these people are being judged. These folks are being in towels just for being involved. These people are not just as masculine or feminine is taking a financial hit, but everybody, all these outside influences is being affected by this karma because they involved themselves in something that they were not healed from themselves. They involved themselves in a lot of toxic, you know, uh, karmic behavior that really was unhealed within themselves to be, be giving somebody else advice or any say at all. Fitness instructor can be significant. Somebody could be a hopeless romantic, whoever this past person is, or this is you collected. Somebody's like a passionate kisser on here here. You could like to kiss this person, your past person, whoever this is, could like to kiss. Somebody thinks somebody's a good kisser, a passionate kisser. Um, yeah, somebody likes to cuddle. Um, somebody is not much of a cuddler, but they will cuddle. So somebody is and the other person, you know, is okay with it because of who the person is. Somebody 
you know, is not so uh, <laughs> touchy-feely sometimes, but the other person is. But that's just because this person, you know, so it could be this masculine energy um, that is like a hopeless romantic, but it's something that's hidden. I feel like this person is, you know, you won't only see this side of this person um, when they allow you to, you know, behind closed doors. Like, they may not express it or, you know, let it show in public, but this person, you know, could be somebody that's publicly affectionate um, to a certain extent. But behind closed doors, this person could be a really hopeless romantic. Oh, this is you, collective. Next card, 24-7. Um, Kevon, Ed yeah, Kevon Edmonds. Could be significant. Um, this song could be significant to someone here, but it's called 24 7. Um, I want to say it's by Babyface's brother, Kevon Ed Edmonds, but I don't own the copyrights to this, so definitely listen to this song in its entirety, collective, to get the message intended for you. For anybody, whoever this reading or whatever part of the reading resonates with you, okay. Next card, spiritually abuses everybody this dark witch gets with. I had a feeling somebody was dealing with somebody like this. Somebody manipulative, somebody, you know, that like to, you know, try to control everything, everybody, especially the outcome, you know, to a situation. Like somebody likes to tell lies and then go do some type of divination to, you know, make things hard or make whatever they talking about, you know, actually uh, be something that, can be seen or um, detected, you know, if somebody was to use divination to make something appear to be what they said. Like, oh, this person, you know, they're struggling with their finances, you know, they're not able to do this or do that. And the minute you say, well, can you send me a, you know, just say you're an influence and you say, can I send you, you know, you guys send me a cash after do this or do that. And this person is like, yes, I told you this person, you know, struggling financially and not knowing <laughs> that this person, you know, is just asking. It's not that they don't have it or, you know, it's just the fact that they want to be able to do it now and, you know, to do it later when they have it later is not what they want to do. They kind of want to go ahead and get whatever it is they want done now. It just means that, you know, whatever other means of them doing that, Today may not happen if they don't get what they need today. Don't mean they won't have it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever somebody's asking for may come at a later time, but it's the fact of somebody using that as a way to prove or think that that's a spell work working. Child, so. But anybody this person get with, they spiritually um, attack them. You know, they they do something, you know, spiritually to them, you know, um, divination-wise to them, you know, doing some type of love, spells, sex, magic, come to me spells, you know, creating illusions, you know, um, making them believe that whatever somebody says, you know, um, you know, make doing beauty spells, like trying to make, a person see them for somebody that they not, you know, wanting them to see, you know, appear to someone or people around them as somebody that, um, and when this shit wear off, it's like they see that person, you know, when the mask is off and that, that spell, or, you know, wears off, it's like, who, why am I messing with this? So even if somebody is doing divination on anybody they get with, this person does it on any guy, anybody they, you know, get involved with. Man or woman. It does not matter. They could be, you know, a female. It could be a, a, a masculine. They still, they gonna, they're going to do some type of dark divination on that person because they want to be able to control them. They want to be able to use them for their own purpose, whatever that may be. Whether it's being a damn puppet or something, you know, controlling them. This person is, you know, it's like this person is being 
um, controlled by some demonic force or whatever, being, entity or something like that. Only justice, no mercy. And that's all that's coming in this situation. Like this is somebody's just, I mean, somebody's judgment. This is somebody's karma. It's, it, you know, it's only justice from here. It's no mercy. So at the end of the day, whatever somebody was relentless, obsessively doing, when it came to divination, when it came to somebody, it comes to somebody using divination on anybody and everybody that they feel like affects them or can affect them in some way. Spirit said that's the damn truth. I'm telling you now. Even if you got a question at this time, they made a yet near yes or no answer. Yes is out here. Um next card, Jezebel Spirits, secrets being exposed. What I said, this person got something on them. And they constantly using some type of divination to get what they want out of people, man or woman. This person will get with anybody. They'll sleep with anybody. If they feel like, you know, and they'll use divination to get it if they don't want to, you know, use their body. But I feel like this person prides themselves on the fact that they do a lot of low vibrational, you know, divination to people and actually get, you know, something out of it. Like somebody is obsessed with doing it. They can't stop doing it. That's why there ain't no mercy for them. Judgment is called on this person. It ain't no mercy. The people around them finna see this person for who they are. And their exposure is going to tear them down. It's going to um, humble. I ain't gonna even say humble them. It is going to literally embarrass the hell out of somebody. Like they are really gonna feel like the scum of the earth. You know what I'm saying? Because people are going to say things, look at this person, you know, they're going to react in such a way that this, this, whoever this individual is, and I feel like it's a feminine, they ain't going to, I'm talking about, they going to be livid about how people is going to look at them, see them, treat them, talk to them now. Because people are already starting to pull away, like, you know, respond less, not answer their phone as much. They ain't so quick to text back and answer their phone, call back. And so is this masculine. At the end of the day, this person is fighting, you know, not with the people around them, but the demons that live within this person's vessel. And I feel like more than one demon possesses this woman's vessel. It does. Because a lot of what this person does, divination-wise, you know, involves a lot of different demonic entities. This woman opened too many damn portals that they can't, she can't close don't have no control over some of the energy, especially when they don't know who they attacking energetically. They don't know somebody's spiritual ranking. So when it comes to this person sending things out to try to block something, stop something, harm somebody, steal from people, manipulate, you know, the energy the way they do with free will, the the penalty is what is what you see. It ain't no mercy. It's it's only justice here. It's only just that this person is, I mean, they couldn't pray hard enough, you know, for their finances or anybody to come through and help them. This person is going to be so torn down, stripped of everything, stripped of everything. This that, The lifestyle somebody used to having, they finna be stripped of that one day at a time. And this, this is, this person ain't going to get no mercy. They just not. They health, they money, they stability, all that is, is going to be affected one day at a time if it hadn't already started. The person, this, this, this side of them that is promiscuous, that does divination on everybody they get with, that's going to be exposed by this person if it hadn't already started. This person is very dark. I said that in the beginning of the read. Somebody's very low vibrational, but they are definitely dark. Somebody could have even sold a soul, but I feel like somebody's devoted to some demonic forces. They are. And even if they don't want to admit it, these demonic forces want what they want, and they will use this person. They will not protect this person. Like now, this person don't have no spiritual protection. They don't. Next card, chose someone younger because of them having no boundaries. I said, Jezebel, I'm telling you now, they don't have no boundaries, they don't have no morals. You know what I'm saying? They feel like whatever they do behind closed doors, whatever they do that you don't know they do, they do a lot of it and they do it nasty. Okay? 
They don't care about how something look and this and that. All they know is I got what I got the way I got it. And if you can't prove I got it that way, I can say I didn't do that that way. But that, that way that somebody think is finna be secret, that they feel like the way they get out ain't finna be exposed, it is. It's coming out starting today if it hadn't already started. Somebody low down nastiness uh, is coming out. It's finna be exposed. Ain't nothing this person done said about anybody from their past, even people around them they done talked about. Not just you. They have talked about everybody. And this person has got down with some of you know, the closest people in this circle. This person is promiscuous. This person don't care. They don't care. It's like, child, they, this is somebody that'll pimp they sell. Traffic they sell. Straight up. Next card, working on healing, I need that your absence has shown me. So, since you have, you know, distanced yourself and cut this person off and walked away, to choose yourself, to heal yourself. This person has had nothing but time to see everything around them fall since you walked away. The mask have fell off. The buildings are starting to crumble. The streets are getting shorter. The streets don't look so long. You know what I'm saying? Those once smooth paved streets, they, they got potholes now. They got things going on on them that this person never really saw. They were passing by it, ignoring it. You know, thinking they, they saw what they saw. You know, I saw it and didn't see it. Now this person can't help but see it. That's all they see. This is all somebody see is all the things that they've been looking over and ignoring and pouring up and drinking up and sipping up and laughing and, you know, playing a good role and putting on a little front and stuff. And the shit is crum crumbling down. Somebody's shit is crumbling down like they don't want somebody to know just how wild and out there they are how low down they can be but it's coming out and the same person that didn't want this man or woman to come towards you collective this person is so low down they did all they could to keep this person they have bent over backwards forward they have climbed poles stuck stuck themselves to the pole and did a whole bunch of other shit and this person still was is saying you don't compare to the collective the collective ain't gonna do this and the, the fact that somebody not having no boundaries and, you know, willing to, you know, do this and do that. Well, it's just something you ain't doing over there that got him over here, baby. That's why he over there. Because the collective is not finna bust down for somebody that's over here looking for anybody to do it. That's why you the one doing it. It's why you the one look. That's why you did all that and that person still has got to heal. They still have to learn their lesson. Even... even from this Jezebel. Because this person may have wanted attention. They may have wanted options. They may have wanted to juggle. They may have wanted you know, to play, be this playboy. But at the end of the day, it comes with a price. And this is more than what this person got in their bank account. So at the end of the day, this person going to have to choose you know, what they want to really blow their money on. You know, And if it's a pastime, then it's only going to last for a short time. But if somebody wants their money to last and they want, you know, to have some happiness, you know, along with it and somebody they can trust, then they may want to, you know, withhold their money and their time and take their ass somewhere and sit down and do what they're doing, not heal. Because somebody just willing to see somebody spin and be broken, not have shit. Especially if this person did all they did and this person still don't want to be with them. They don't want somebody to walk away after they done did all this that and the third okay and the bird and they didn't had no boundaries for this person and now they're looking up and this person saying look it was good run it was a good run with you but i got to go i gotta go home what dave hollister said everything different now i finally am finna go take my ass and settle down i'm a, i'm gonna be a one woman you know kind of man that's what Dave Hollister said. Now, that's, I'm hearing that somebody wanting to sit their ass down now because being out here playing, thinking they're going to find a whole nother collective, is not going to happen. This person going to be stuck looking back at their past saying, I messed up this lifetime. Now I got to, you know, go through my 60 and 70 years time. I said, I'm looking for my queen. You fucked over your queen. You know what I'm saying? You played your queen for a fake one. You, you know what I'm saying? You sacrificed your queen for a fake one, so... This person going to have to get it right or, you know, 
get it wrong, you, you do it alone. And it really just took you to walk away from this person, to be honest. And as long as you have not been around, this person has had that time to experience these people, you know, raw and uncut and see how they respond to these people and what they've been putting up with. And this is why these people have been able to be in this person's energy as long as they have. And even when you were connected to this person, you probably felt drained even then. You probably felt like you just couldn't get no sleep. Couldn't you, you just couldn't get enough sleep because somebody keeps somebody up, you know, in their head, even when they really not up, you know, with what they got to do. Next call, your ancestors and guides and angelic angels were waiting on them at the door. This is why somebody ain't got no mercy. I don't know about it here. So your spirit team, they ain't got no mercy on this on this uh witch. They don't. They were waiting on this person to do this. They were waiting on this person to attack you the way they did. They were waiting on them. And now it's 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 only justice from here. It's only justice from here. This person, no matter what they do or try to, you know, how they try to affect you, this this person is going, they got a, a lifelong path of karma. This person does. You can have life path 11. You can be born on the 11th of a month. Life path 11 is source of inspiration with high energy and intuition often feels misunderstood naturally shy and naturally inspiring you naturally inspire others easily take action suddenly highly intuitive psychic better better humanity um, they have a beautiful soul, easily attracts people to them, reach spiritual enlightenment. So that could be talking to someone that has a life path, um, 11. It could be a psychic, like a seer, definitely an empath and a seer. Um, but you're somebody that's highly intuitive. And you probably do at a lot of t a lot of times feel misunderstood. Like people take whatever your intentions is and twist them, you know, and try to make them out to be something evil, something negative when they're not. Somebody could be losing hair and teeth since they karma. This card, intense and strong connection, cosmic contract, child. No wonder they got damn karma so damn bad. Somebody is doomed i heard like somebody doomed they fucked no matter where this person is in the world you're going to be magnetically pulled to this person no matter what country you in and they in you still going to feel this person's energy they going to Next card, last card, trampled on your offer and pissed. You are giving it to someone new. For some of you, this is a new person coming in. And you ended out of cycle with somebody here because, due to them, you know, sitting over here, you know, taking whatever you put down or whatever you was putting out for granted by way of listening to outside influences. And these people sitting here doing all they can to, you know, to keep this person from, you know, going towards this opportunity and, and actually missing this opportunity with you. And you possibly rejecting this person, even if they do heal. You know what I'm saying? You may forgive this person. For some of you, you can feel forgive this person, but you're not going to go back to this person. For others of you, it's the fact that you are opening your heart to new love. You've ended out of cycle with a past person. Um... 
And again, like I said, you have forgiven this person. You've done the healing, still doing that. But I feel like you still are manifesting someone new after what you walked away from, what you healed from. Um, so you, for some of you, you're going to have two suitors coming back in. One, you know, is somebody that's from your past. For others, is somebody new. You know, a higher level commitment, a higher level mate. Um, but this is a cosmic kind of love. This is not um, something that you will be able to deny, you know, that you actually feel with somebody. And this could be a past person also that um, you have a cosmic contract with. And by way of it being so protected, you know, um, against anything and anybody that is not, in, you know, that their intentions are not good. This is why somebody's spirit team is always on high alert because they you are constantly being attacked because of your love, your success, your uh, opportunities, um, your abundance, your inheritance. You're constantly being attacked for that because of that energy, that light about you that people, you know, it irritates their demons, but it, they, it also makes them come towards you to take to you know to steal to destroy you know especially your manifestations and this past person they trampled all over your offer you know and this treated you you know according to hurt you know situations they done been in with other people and not giving you the opportunity you know, to, for them, giving themselves the opportunity to get to know you for who you were and not, you know, what a past person or people were in their ear, you know, constantly reminding this person of in their past that they failed at or who failed them and making them not live that down. It's like people around them, outside influences did not want them to live. Forget about that. Like, don't forget about how Michelle did. Don't forget how Angela, you know, how she did. You think this person, you know, and, and you know, she looked good. So if that person, you know, and this person went with that shit, they listened to these folks. They did. But I'm going to end it here, Collective. You guys, make sure you do something nice for someone, even if you don't know them. Hit that like, that subscribe button on your way out if you haven't already. And as always, those that genuinely love me, know that I love you too. Mwah.